Hello and welcome to Hobbs and Bros. This week, it's a first class on brute IPAs. Basically, kind of like an aftermath, you know? Or like the X Men, you know? X Men first class. Is it? With uh, brute. <laughs> I, I, I think before we can start the video, the bad puns around I am brute. I am brute. I am brute. I am brute. Like, it's overly done already on social media. It probably has, and, yeah. And, Oh, people are already like done. They don't want brutes anymore because of that. Like it's such a bad pun, such a bad use. Well, of I, this I feel like Groot, reference. like Groot style beers, yeah, would have been a better use of "I am Groot." Yeah, uh, which I feel like I've seen before. Maybe but, like, but and in school, me and um, my buddies from class, we always talk about how brewers fucking love puns for some reason. Yeah, it's always puns, 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 puns. I like puns. Yeah, but like, like, like anyone else, but at some point, you're right, it, it does get a lot, and you have to be more creative, you know? It's heavy on you, yeah, you feel yeah. bad, but that means... Have you ever played Brute Force? Oh, it's a, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, an old Xbox did, game, yeah. I think we had it yeah, here, yeah, we played yeah. it a bit, yeah, we did, yeah. We did, yeah. yeah. Brute Force is a good fucking game, it's, yeah, it's, it was. I think it's underrated, Brute Force. It, it really is underrated, they never had a sequel, It wasn't. they didn't have the big following that Halo had, yeah. anyways. Hashtag um, Brute Force sequel. Hashtag Brute Force sequel. That's all the episode That'd we cool, have for man. you guys Even the this multiplayer week. was fucking good. Yeah, it's super cool. Um, so super yeah. Cool. Is, that, is that the intro or are we starting like right here? I, I You're think gonna we cut started it right here. Right here? Well, I, I think we keep it. It's it's going to be there uh, after the intro, you know? Like this is the That's intro fair. to the intro. That's the intro to the intro. Okay. The, the intro after the intro. <laughs> for an open window on the crappy world Max and Chris from Ups and So either it's going to be a big pause or yeah. or the intro is going to happen. One of the two, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's either going to be awkward for a couple of seconds or not. Uh, so this week we're actually drinking beers from one of our favorite breweries from Quebec, uh, which is Le Castan. Yes, out there um, in the Rigo, which yeah. is one of the first beer we reviewed on the show. That is true. It is yeah, one of the first the beers. Yeah. Yakima IPA. Was it for in English or in French? No, in French. In French, okay. The first one we did. It, I feel like the first, first one was Bose. Yeah. Like okay, that. and then we did that one shortly after. Uh, we had the scene where we opened the fridge. If you want to go back in our videos, it's not very good. Um, don't watch it. Don't yeah. watch it. No, don't don't go for it. So, Brood IPAs, Chris. Um, if you haven't watched the Brood IPA 101 we did back uh, in, I think, June, uh, then go watch it and then come back to check this video. But uh, we want to do a first class on it because we learned a lot more about the style and also we got our hands on it so we can actually try it out so it, that's the thing is all cards on the table when we did that first video we had never ever had a brood ipa it was this this mystical beer yeah. from san francisco everyone was talking about and we had not had a chance to actually try one exactly. now we have we have tried a couple ones and um yeah we have science to back up all our explanations this time uh, yeah kind of of course kind of so Back then, I think we were talking a lot about kind of like a champagne interpretation of what a fruity IPA is. So, and I believe the brewed connotation in in this beer is actually the reason why we were confused with the whole champagne thing is yeah. that there are brewed champagnes. Yeah. So that that's kind of why. So they don't actually use that yeast in in the IPA at all. Uh, not it's, anymore. It's just not anymore. the concept where it's very dry. Um, and Chris is gonna go close that door. And then come back like this, boom. <laughs> Sorry, um, but so, yeah, yeah. The having the brute quotation makes it ultra dry. Ultra, ultra dry. So how do you want to do? So you want to talk about the beer first, or you want to talk about the science first? Let's I'll go leave it to you. Let's go to the beer first, and then okay. after that we'll go to the science. Let's because, do it. Because that's what we planned before doing the video. And just so you guys know, it's been like. Probably a month or two since I've yeah, seen yeah, Max two, in yeah, yeah, two months since Bones I've been here. Yeah. Skin, so it's nice to be on the set. It's not a green screen. I, I'm actually I'm actually here. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Stop! You make me. <laughs> okay, so that guy saw Brute IPA. Really good. I like it's, it. It's impressive. It poured just as we were talking first. You got a little bit more A's into it. Uh, which I think mine was poured first, so you yeah. can see poured a really with a nice clear head and uh, not as much effervescence as I thought Brut IPAs were, but also not for me, as it's clear as I thought it was going to be. 
In my head, the Brut IPA was the complete uh, opposite of the New England style, so yep. I was expecting it very clear. It's not clear at all, but it might just be because it was unfiltered for some reason. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but yeah. seriously, I think it's the best one I've had so far. That's why I wanted to have it on the show and talk about it and kind of like do a first class on it because I think this one is the closest we had to it. Um, seriously, one of the issues I got with all the other brood IPAs we had, which they was they were really good beers. They were a lot too sweet for yeah. me, and for what I think this style is. A lot of a lot of sweet brewed IPAs. I've had one in in uh, Niagara uh, at the college, and and just to me, it did not fit the description I read of brewed IPAs. It yep. wasn't at all that. Yet people were like, "Oh, yeah, it's a brewed IPA." Maybe I don't know. Like you know, it, it, it's a style that's fairly new. It's it's yeah. getting here, and we're starting to see different breweries try it out. As like Astor, and who else did that? Uh, uh, we had the one from uh, Charlevoix that sent thanks Charlevoix. Charlevoix for yes. that. Uh, also, we're getting the one with Brett from Noah Beerism that did yeah. with collaboration with and, uh, Auberge. Sutton. And even be before that, we had the one that was a collaboration between Flora Hall and Brasses Bois Canada. Exactly, the which, Did yeah. I try it? I don't think so. Uh, no, but no. I think I, I, I spread the word yeah. enough about it. It, it yeah. was a really nice, yeah. sweet IPA. Not yeah. not close to what I had I, I had in mind. Sorry, it, overall. For as that. you guys know, I'm not a fan of the overly piney, overly bitter IPAs. Yet this, I enjoy. It's, it's, it's very well balanced for one of those IPAs. I am more on the New England spectrum for sure. Because I, I like the fruitiness. I like the sweetness of, of certain IPAs. And I'm not... Overly fan of bitterness. I like bitterness as a palate cleanser more yeah. than anything else. With this, you do get the bitterness and residual bitterness in your mouth that stays for a little bit, but it's not bad. Yeah. It's actually very palatable. But it creates that nice, like you said, enhanced, uh, you said, I forgot the enhanced thing, but it enhances also the dryness of the beer. It does, it really does. Uh, the, the beer is very really, really dry, like, yeah. It, it pairs really well with the dryness that we're looking for into a Brut IPA. So of course this one, Leaves you really dry. Yeah. And, and also, not as piney as I expected. It's more like on the stone fruit side, like almost tropical, almost. Yep. Very, very hoppy in the aromas, which I guess for an IPA, that's what you want. Exactly, um, yeah. yeah. So, for me, when I see a brewed IPA now, like you spoke about science and all that stuff, how to make it happen. A lot of brewers kind of like perfected this thought over the last months. But also, what I realized is the challenge of making a dry beer, like a dry beer that's actually an IPA. Yeah. Um, you start off with a lot of sugars, you want it, like everyone's really fixed on the plateau end of the beer. So the plateau mm -hmm. is the gravity of the beer, they want it as low as possible so it's dry, so there's no residual sugars left. And that's left. the thing, is it's, it's very hard to get a low residual, anyways, it's very hard to have low residual sugars when you use conventional ways to brew. Mm -hmm. um, that's why you use extra enzymes to break down those complex sugars. We talked in another episode beforehand, but I'll, I'll glance over it. Yeah. So <laughs> the way it works is that your grain has starches and also has enzymes to break those starches into uh, sugars. It's gonna break them into different Different kinds of sugars, uh, mostly glucose, maltose, and maltotriose. There's also going to be uh, more complex sugars, so longer lines of sugars that are harder for your enzymes to break down. So the way you break down those sugars is actually add enzymes that have a specific job to go break down those enzymes. It's exactly how you get it very, very low in Play-Dohs. Um, it, it's not a way to naturally get a beer. You do have to add extra enzymes, which, I mean, if you follow the Ryan Henskebot, it's, it's, not, it's frowned upon, it's not accepted. Um, so it depends what your definition of, of a beer is and if it's acceptable or not acceptable. I think it is. No. Uh, I don't see why not. Uh, I, we, we've, everyone has drank beer with rice or corn in it and it's, it's not, it's still beer, it's just yeah. a different kind of beer, you know, it's a different interpretation. Of beer. Exactly. So, um, speaking of all those times, all that stuff, what happened with having this goal of hitting a really like low plateau? I think that's what happened with the IABV brood mm. IBAs we've seen. Uh, a little bit oversweet because of that. I'm not yeah. sure. That's the that's impression possible, I yeah. have from my stand of view on that style like, so far. Have they used uh, enzymes to be able to break down more sugars in the brew? I'm not sure. I, I'm you know, not sure. on paper, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have the actual brewing papers, but no. I, oh yeah, why not? Like Castor or whomever, like 
did the boot IPA share share with us the um, the process? Like we won't we won't share it, but no, uh, we, we'd be curious to know just, if, if what the process was, how you you came with a very dry beer like this. It's a very nice beer, and maybe there was enzymes, maybe not. I mean, you can get better efficiency from your enzymes using different techniques for sure, but it's very hard, you know, with the exactly. caution stuff like that. Um, but no, very good beer, uh, very cool process. I, I, I want to see more people being creative with different processes as well. Yeah, um, I, and different ingredients for sure. It's yeah. it's the way beer is meant to be, and uh, I, I was really eager to sit down and add this beer with you because yeah. the first time I drank it, I was really kind of like, "This is what we talked about back in June before you left." And yeah. Now I was like, I was sitting alone and like <laughs> remembering that. I, yeah. yeah, I so was, was crying and was be I like, here for that video? And I, I was already there though. Uh, I think so. We I filmed it before you left. Oh. It was kind of like the secret video of Max is still here, but not here. You know, we, we yeah, okay. filmed a lot of okay. like yeah, videos yeah. ahead of you leaving. But overall, uh, I think it sums up a little bit of our first class about Brute IPAs. Uh, of course, we want to film two videos tonight. So this is the first one. We'll get another one done because Max is here. We want his face in as many videos as possible. And uh, yeah, his mustache is yeah. really fantastic. Lately. So if you like the video, please leave a like, subscribe, let us know what you think of brewed IPAs and also what you think of using enzymes in beer. Yeah. Something that's been used in wine for a very long time. It's kind of making its way to the craft beer industry. For better or for worse, let us know in the comments below and we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers. Put some time. Italiano poutine.